Hello, this video is an introduction to using fonts with Album Easy to, for creating custom stamp albums. Early versions of Album Easy only supported the 12 standard PDF fonts that were included with the Adobe Acrobat PDF Viewer. The names of these standard fonts and the Album Easy sound identifiers can be found in the application help. Click on fonts in the help contents and for example the Korea font is identified by CN which stands for Korea Normal or Times Roman Italic is identified by TI. The identifiers are used to specify a particular font to use when generating text. Here I have a simple album file that includes a page title and a 16 point times Roman bold font indicated by the TB font identifier and a single line of text in 14 point Helvetica indicated by the HN identifier. Generate and this is what the album looks like. Times Roman title and Helvetica text. As stated, originally Album Easy only supported the 12 standard PDF fonts. However, newer versions of Album Easy now incorporate TrueType font support, enabling it to use almost, almost all the TrueType fonts that a user may have installed on their computer. This allows for greatly enhanced albums and, more importantly, also provides support for almost all international character sets. To use a true type font in Album Easy, one simply needs to know its name. The names of fonts that are compatible with Album Easy can be found by pressing the font button on the toolbar. Don't be surprised by how short the list of fonts is. We will change that in a few minutes. The left column in the list contains the font names. The right column contains the names of the actual font files. These are only shown here for informational purposes as the file names are not needed to use Album Easy, which is why they are greyed out. To save typing font names, one can copy the name by selecting it and clicking the Copy button. Copied Palatino line type to clipboard. Or right clicking the font, the font name. Copied Penguin Attack to clipboard. Here I've copied the name of the Penguin Attack font, which is the font I'm going to use in the next example. Fonts are specified in Album Easy commands by means of an identifier, as we have already seen, such as HN for Helvetica. For true type fonts, we need to associate a font name with a user defined font identifier. We can do this by means of the album defined font command. For details, open help. Click on the index tab. Type F O N T font. In defined keywords containing the word font. At the very top of the list is the album defined font command. Album defined font takes two parameters. This command defines a user font and assigns a true type font to it. Basically what this does is it assigns a user defined identifier to a named font. So before we can use the penguin attack font in an album we need to assign an identifier to it using the album defined font command. These font definition commands should be included near the top of the album file before any text commands. Album underscore define underscore font. Notice how the word changes color indicating that it has been recognizes, recognized. I'm going to use an identifier PNG. 
and here I can paste the penguin attack using control V the penguin attack font name we copied in the font dialog box. Note identifiers do not include quotation marks whereas font names need to be between quotation marks because many font names include space characters such as this one. An identifier must be at least two characters long but no more than 12. It can be anything one likes, for example, X, Y, Z. Not terribly helpful in helping us remember the font name, so something more, like dis more descriptive such as Penguin would probably be better and, e and much easier to remember. I am now going to add a line of text to try out the newly added Penguin attack font. To save typing, I can duplicate an existing line by pressing Ctrl D. Click on the line, press Ctrl D. I'm going to set the new line of text to Penguin Attack, for the f Penguin Attack font by means of the identifier we have assigned to the font, Penguin. And this is not Helvetica. And here is the result. Generate. First save, view the PDF. Here we have added a line of text in the Penguin Attack font, a strange name for a font that, re gen that generates rather unusual looking text. How about another example? Perhaps using an international font, font such as Korean. Click on the fonts dialog font button. I'm going to choose the Unbatang font because I know it includes the Korean character set. Right click, copied Unbatang to clipboard, OK. We need to add another album defined font command. Once again to save typing I'm going to use Control D to duplicate the existing command and set it to the exist to the Unbatang font. I'm going to use Control V to paste. I'm going to refer to it by the identifier K O R. Now when I want to use the Unbatang font I just simply specify the K O R identifier. To add a line of Korean text, um, once again you're going to use Ctrl D to duplicate this line of text and set it to the Unbatang font, KOR, that I've assigned to it. And now I can add some Korean text. As I don't actually speak Korean, nor do I have a Korean keyboard, I'm going to use Google Translate to grab some Korean text. Korean to English. Hello, this is Korean. Oops, we wanted English to Korean. Hello, this is Korean and that is the Korean text. Right click, copy. And now we can paste that in our album easy file. And let's see the result generate. Save the changes. View the PDF. This is what our album looks like now. Helvetica text, Penguin Attack font text, and Korean using the Unbatang font. That, in a nutshell, is how you use fonts in Album Easy. One last piece of the puzzle, however, is that initially there are very few fonts to choose from. The fonts you see here were installed with Album Easy when it was first installed. They are in a subfolder called Fonts, which is in the same location as Album Easy. This is where Album Easy is installed on this computer and there is the fonts folder. And here are the fonts that were installed. 
By default, Album Easy only searches for fonts in this folder, but we are about to change that. Click on the Configure button to list the compatible TrueType fonts that are on your computer, select Include System Fonts when searching for fonts. Click OK. After which you may have to shut down and restart Album Easy for this change to take effect. If so, you will see this message box. You have chosen to include System Fonts when searching for fonts. This change will take place after Album Easy is restarted. Shut down and we will restart. Now when we click on the fun, Font button, which is found a huge collection of fonts, all of which are compatible with Album Easy. To use one, simply select it and copy its name. Copy it Freeman and pull the beak to clipboard. As mentioned earlier, most but not all of the true type fonts found on your computer may be compatible with Album Easy. If you would like to see a list of any incompatible fonts, click again on the Configure button and then select Display Inco Incompatible Fonts list in the font dialog box. Now when we click on the font button, in addition to the list of fonts of compatible fonts, you should find a second list containing the fonts that are not compatible with Album Easy. Fortunately, not many on this computer. I generally prefer to leave the display incompatible fonts list in the font dialog box unchecked. So it's not a clutter the font dialog box. If you are regularly going to be using many different fonts, then leave include system fonts when searching for fonts checked. However, if you are only ever going to be using a few fonts, uncheck this and instead copy the relevant font files to the Album Easy Fonts folder. That way Album Easy will take less time searching for fonts and you won't have to browse through hundreds of fonts to choose one. For more information on using fonts, please refer to the fonts help topic. This includes detail on standard fonts, custom fonts as we've just discussed, more info about the font dialog box, etc. Thank you for watching and if you have any comments or questions on using Album Easy, please contact me via the Album Easy website www.thestampweb.com. Thank you.